So in last class, we have done solution of homogeneous system of linear equation. Homogeneous system of linear equation is given by AX is equal to 0. If rank of a coefficient matrix is equal to number of variable, then system is consistent. And system has trivial solution. X is equal to 0, Y is equal to 0, and Z is equal to 0. If rank of coefficient matrix is less than number of variable, then system is consistent and has infinite many solution or non-trivial solution. Homogeneous system is always consistent system. In non-homogeneous, we need to check whether it is consistent or inconsistent. Consistent. So in that case, we find the rank of augmented matrix as well as coefficient matrix. Right? If rank of augmented matrix is equal to rank of coefficient matrix, then system is consistent. And if it is unequal, rank of augmented matrix is not equal to rank of coefficient matrix, then this is system is inconsistent. But in case of homogeneous, system is always consistent. If number of equation is equal to number of variable, so to have known trivial solution, determinant of coefficient matrix must be equal to zero. If number of equations are less than number of variable, then system has a solution other than trivial solution. Right? And then we have solved one example. Let us solve one more example. Solve 4x plus 2y plus z plus 3w is equal to 0. 6x plus 3y plus 4z plus 7w is equal to 0. 2x plus y plus w is equal to 0. As you can observe, right hand side of each equation is 0. So it means it is your, it is your homogeneous system of linear equation right so i have told you for the solution of homogeneous system of linear equation we concentrate only on coefficient matrix right so first we will write the coefficient matrix 4 2 1 3 then 6 3 4 7 And then 2, 1, 1, 0. Right? Is it right? No, ma'am. Everyone? No, no ma'am. Ma Why not? M, Z, Why not, 0. M, Z, 0, Z, yes, plus the Z would be 0. Yes. 2x plus y, the coefficient of x would be 2. Coefficient of y would be 1, coefficient of z would be 0, and coefficient of w would be 1. Everyone will solve on your notebook. Now, we need to convert this into row eclan form, right? So for making it easy, can I interchange R1 and R3? So I'm doing interchange of R1 and R3. So that is equivalent to 2, 1, 0, 1. Then 6, 3, 4, 7. And then 4, 2, 1, and 3. Right? Now, next my target is to make this entry 0 as well as this entry 0, right? So you are applying operation. R2 implies R2 minus 3 times of R1. Similarly, R3 implies R3 minus 2 times of R1, right? Now simplify it and let me know what will be the entries. That is equivalent to, first row will be as it is, 2, 
वन जीरो वन नेक्स्ट इज एंट्री विल बी जीरो एंड देन जीरो नाउ सॉल्व इट एंड लेट मी नो वॉट विल बी सेकेंड रो wait satvik just wait for 1 minute so that everyone can do it Yes, who has done? Done, ma'am. Okay, Nitesh, you tell me row two, second row. I What have will done be the entries? Uh, so you wait, ma'am. Then you wait. Okay, we will check. Okay, ma'am. Ah, uh, Niharika. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, beta, second row. Um, zero. Yes. Zero. Yes. Four. Okay. And four. Four. Nitesh, now you will check it. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Niharika. Karnik. Karnik. Yes, ma'am. Third row, beta. I'm zero. Hmm. Zero. Yes. Uh, one, one. One and one. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Nitesh, beta, check it. Yes, ma'am. Same. Everybody is getting same. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now, next is what? Now next is R two implies R two divided by four. Okay, yeah, I can write directly here R three minus one by four times of R two. Right yes, now, what is the same yes, thing? One by four of R two. So that is equivalent to two one zero one zero zero four four. And then next row would be complete zero. Yes, ma'am. Right. So now rank of coefficient matrix is equal to. See, this is your Eklin form. Number of zeros are in increasing order. So now you will count number of non-zero rows. So there are two number of non-zero rows. So therefore, rank of coefficient matrix is equal to two. Right, and that is less than number of variables. A number of variables are four. So in that case, how many variables we can suppose? This minus this. So we can suppose two variables. Right, two variables would be independent. So let us write this two x. Plus y plus zero z plus w is equal to zero. Right? From this first row, two x plus y plus w is equal to zero, and from the second row, you can write here. Sorry, four z four z plus four w is equal to zero. So this implies z is equal to minus of w, right? So let w is equal to k one. So z would become 
minus of k1 right and then from first equation you will write 2x plus y or plus k1 is equal to 0 so x can be equal to we can suppose one variable as k1 and another variable let us suppose y is equal to k2 so x would be minus of k1 minus of k2 divided by 2 so this is this would be the value of x this would be value of y and this would be the value of z and this would be value of w where k1 and k2 can take any real value right where k1 and k2 can take any real value correct beta is it right the main thing is after getting the rank of coefficient matrix that is equal to 2 you will write this is less than number of variable so number of variable minus of rank that is equal to n minus r variable can be independent so you can suppose two variable as a independent variable so from here we have written 2x plus y plus w is equal to 0 and from this row you can write 4z pro w is equal to 0 this implies z is equal to minus w so you have suppose w is equal to k1 so z would be equal to minus of k1 and from the first equation 2x plus y plus k1 is equal to 0 so you have supposed y is equal to k2 and then x would be minus k1 minus k2 upon 2 where k1 and k2 can have any real value is it clear this is how we solve homogeneous system of linear equation if it is clear then today we will be doing eigenvalue and eigenvector so in that case you need to find out eigenvector so for finding the eigenvector how to solve homogeneous system it should be clear so if anybody is having any doubt in solving homogeneous system then please ask it's very simple you need to write coefficient matrix and then find its rank and then write the solution so i'm hoping this is clear to everyone excuse me okay. yes beta yes Ashita. i'm in the same question the matrix uh, which we got before uh, mm -hmm. 0044 and 0011 that matrix is also the echelon form of the matrix no beta it is not echelon form there are number of no number of zeros are not in increasing order right whenever you make the number of zeros and you are going the downward number of zeros always in must be in increasing order um, but we consider only first zero in the second row first zero in the second row you mean this zero and this zero yes no beta you you need to reduce it Jitni aap matrix ko reduce kar paate ho, utna hi aapne reduce karna hota hai. And this must be in increasing order. Okay. Right? Keep in mind, jab bhi aap row eklan form banate ho, number of zeros must be in increasing order. If yaha do aati hai na, to 99.99% in next row, you will be getting either 3 or 4 zeros. Chik hai? Or see, you can make this complete row 0. So, when you don't make it from zero, it is not in row at length form. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Any other doubt? Okay. No. Now, come to next. Find the value of lambda for which the following system of equations 3x plus y minus lambda z is equal to zero. 4x minus 2y minus 3z is equal to 0. 2 lambda x plus 4y plus lambda z is equal to 0 possesses a known trivial solution and also find corresponding solution for known trivial solution. There are three variable, three equation and I need known trivial solution. So what will be the condition for known trivial solution? Let us write first coefficient matrix. So coefficient matrix is 3, 1, minus lambda. 
and then 4 minus 2 minus 3 2 lambda 4 and lambda right this is your coefficient matrix and you need what non trivial solution non trivial solution means solution that is other than 0 trivial solution means x0 y0 z0 now you tell me what is the condition for non trivial solution i have already discussed it now ma'am the rank the rank of matrix is less than number of variables less than number of variables less than number of variable means Very this rank of this coefficient matrix must be less than 3 right now and what is the condition for this what can be the condition for this rank of matrix a less than 3 is there any condition in the form of determinant yes ma'am the determinant should be equal to 0 determinant should be equal to 0 because if determinant is equal to 0 so it is sure that rank of coefficient matrix would not equal to 3 right so this is not equal to sorry this is equal to 0 so can i put this condition over here for non trivial solution rank of this must be less than number of variable right for rank less than 3 we can put this condition determinant of this matrix should equal to 0 right so now find the determinant of this matrix and equate that is equal to 0 so just find the determinant determinant of a would be equal to 3 into minus 2 lambda plus 12 minus 1 4 lambda plus 6 lambda and then minus of lambda 16 plus 4 lambda and equate that is equal to 0 Right now, simplify it and let me know what values of lambda you are getting. This is minus 6 lambda plus 36 minus 10 lambda minus 16 lambda minus 4 lambda square is equal to 0. Now, now simplify it and let me know what will be the values of lambda. Mm -hmm. wait, wait for one minute more. I know you are doing. So from here, you are writing minus 4 lambda square, 16 and the 26 minus 32 lambda plus 36 is equal to 0. So lambda square plus 8 lambda minus 9 is equal to 0. Yes, done, beta? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Shubham, now tell me, beta. Shubham? Okay, Shitej. Shitej. 
ID number seven, Shitij. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, beta, what will be the value of lambda? Have you solved it? Shitij, I'm waiting, beta. No, Satvik, wait, Bache. Anurag. Anurag. Prashant. Vanshaj. Yes, Pita, what will be the values of lambda? This is quadratic equation is in front of you, Pita. Are you doing Bache? Should I wait for your answer? Yes or no? No, ma'am. No? Okay. Yes, Shubham or Satvik, who want to give answer? Yeah. Ma'am, may I? Yeah, uh, who girl is asking? Ma'am Niharika. Yes, Peter Niharika, please. Ma'am, a value of lambda is uh, mm -hmm. by solving the quality equation, it is minus 9 and 1. It is minus 9 and 1. Yes, Satvik and Shubham, are you getting same? Yes, ma'am. Right? I think who have solved this question, they are getting the same value. So lambda is equal to 9 and lambda is equal to 1. For these value, this system possesses a known trivial solution. Right? For the value of lambda is equal to minus 9 and lambda is equal to 1, system possesses a known trivial solution. Now, you need to solve it. And this is your homework. You will solve it. First, you will be taking lambda is equal to minus 9. Put here minus 9 and then solve the system. For the second case, put lambda is equal to 1 and then solve the system of linear equation. Right? I hope it is clear to everyone. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Now, yes, ma'am. Next, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Next topic is eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Let A be n cross n square matrix. A B any square matrix capital X B A known zero vector is said to be eigenvector such that A X is equal to lambda X for some scalar lambda. Then lambda is said to be eigenvalue of that matrix. Let us suppose you are having a matrix A, right? And this X is any vector. And after simplifying, you are getting the value like whatever x you are having. Okay. Let us say a is any matrix and x is your 7 and 1. And after multiplication with this matrix, you are getting this same x. Right? If you are getting the same x, so I can write it. This is a 
and this is your x and this is 1 and this is 7 and 1 right and if you are multiplying this matrix a with this vector 7 1 and let us say you are getting 14 and 7 so what you will be doing you what you are getting here you can write it like this 2 7 and sorry oh you will not 14 and this it would be 2 right and then you are getting like this right a 7 1 and somehow you are getting it twice of 7 and 1 so this will be your eigenvalue right what is the basically geometrically if i'm writing a vector over here okay this is your vector and then you are using some transformation means you are using this some transformation and this eigenvector is become like this only magnitude is increased not direction so that vector which gives you increment in magnitude magnitude not in the direction that vector is known as eigen vector right and corresponding this value is known as eigen value right this is your vector you are multiplying this vector with the matrix and you are getting this same vector same magnitude raha there is no change in direction so this would become corresponding to this eigen value and next time this magnitude become more right so that would be the corresponding to this so eigen vector is that vector which increase only in the magnitude not in the direction right so mathematically what is your eigen vector this is always a known zero vector eigen vector will be a known zero vector such that a x is equal to lambda x or you can write it rewrite it like that a x is equal to lambda identity matrix or x so i can write it a minus lambda i x is equal to zero right to write in complete matrix form I'll write lambda into lambda into identity matrix and then I can represent it A minus lambda I into capital X is equal to zero. Right? Eigenvalue can be zero, but eigenvector cannot be zero. Right? Because in definition, I'm saying eigenvector is a known zero vector. Show that this X is an eigenvector for this given matrix. So what we are doing, we are finding AX. This is your matrix A, 2 minus 4, 3 minus 6. And this is eigenvector 2, 1. A into X is equal to 0, 0. So what you will write? Lambda X is equal to 0 times of 2, comma 1. I can write it now. This 0, 0 can be written as 0 times of 2, 1. So AX is equal to lambda X. So X be an eigenvector of given matrix corresponding to this eigenvalue. So eigenvalue can be 0, but eigenvector cannot be zero consider ax is equal to lambda x then i can write it ax minus lambda x is equal to zero a minus lambda x is equal to zero means null matrix if i'm writing this in the form of matrix so this a minus lambda i matrix is known as characteristic matrix right so if i'm asking the what is the characteristic matrix so you will be telling me a minus lambda i matrix is known as characteristic matrix. A minus lambda i determinant. This is known as characteristic polynomial. Right? Because I, I didn't equate it to someone, something. Right? So meanwhile, it is a characteristic polynomial. When I'm equating this determinant to zero, it would become characteristic equation. Right? Eigen means own value or characteristic. So that is why this matrix is known as characteristic matrix. This determinant is equal to characteristic polynomial. And when you are equating this to zero, this is known as characteristic equation. Right? This is characteristic matrix. Determinant of this matrix is characteristic polynomial. 
and when you are equating this determinant is equal to zero, it is characteristic equation. Roots of characteristic equation are called eigen values. What are the eigen values? Roots of characteristic equations are eigen values. Now, next is how to find eigen values and eigen vector. The first step is construct a matrix of the form of a minus lambda i. First step, construct a matrix a minus lambda i. Second step, put determinant of this is equal to zero and then find its roots. Those roots are known as eigen value. In next step, corresponding to these eigenvalues, you need to find out eigen vector. So put eigenvalues a minus lambda i x is equal to zero, and then solve homogeneous system of linear equation. See what it become now. You can see that right hand side of this is equal to zero, and this x is your eigen vector eigen vector can you will suppose that x1 x2 x3 would be entries of eigen vector that depends upon size of this eigen vector depends upon your given matrix if it is 2 cross 2 then component will be 2 if it is 3 cross 3 then component would be 3 right and you need to find out x1 x2 x3 because you need to find out eigen vector eigen vector is what capital x is your eigen vector so you will be getting the value of x1 x2 x3 how you can get it this is a kind of homogeneous system of linear equation so you need to solve this right now my question is i will give you a matrix find the eigen values and corresponding eigen vector for this matrix so what you will do First step, you will construct a matrix A minus lambda i. I is your identity matrix. Lambda you need to find out. So you will construct a matrix, find its determinant, equate that is equal to 0, and then solve it for lambda. Right? And value of lambda would be your eigenvalues. It may be 2, 3, depending upon your determinant. After that, you need to put that eigenvalue, one of the eigenvalue over here, and then solve the system of homogeneous system for finding this eigen vector. Right? Let us have one example. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvector of this matrix. A is equal to 2 minus 12, 1 minus 5. So, first step write the given matrix in this form A minus lambda i. So write at the place of a 2 minus 12 1 minus 5 and lambda would be lambda and identity would be 1 0 0 and 1. This is your lambda and this is your 2 minus 12 1 minus 5. So simplify this matrix what you will be getting here 2 minus lambda only diagonal entries would be changed. 2 minus lambda minus 12 minus 0 so it would be minus 12 1 minus lambda 0 1 minus 5 minus lambda right so this would become a minus lambda i first step was construct a matrix of the form a minus lambda i so a minus lambda i this is your given matrix a minus lambda of identity matrix and then you will simplify it 2 minus lambda minus 12 then 1 minus 0 1 minus 5 minus of lambda first step is done second step find the determinant of this matrix and equate that is equal to 0 so find its determinant 2 minus lambda into minus 5 minus lambda minus of minus 12 this is determinant of a minus lambda i and then equate this is equal to 0 right so put a minus lambda is equal to 0 2 minus lambda minus 5 minus lambda minus minus 12 is equal to 0 now simplify it 
simplify it and solve for lambda. Hurry up, solve for lambda. So we will multiply this minus 10 plus 5 lambda minus 2 lambda plus lambda square plus 12 is equal to 0. So lambda square plus 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. Mem value of lambda is minus 1 and minus 2. Minus 1 and minus 2. Check it, beta. Everyone is getting same. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma right. So eigenvalues would be minus one and minus two. This is how you find the eigenvalues for a given matrix. First step: construct a minus lambda I matrix. You have made it. Then put determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. So you are finding the determinant and equating to 0. And then just simplify. If you are having a quadratic equation, so obviously you will be getting two roots or two value. So lambda is equal to minus 1 and lambda is equal to minus 2 will be eigenvalues of this matrix. Now, next is find eigenvector corresponding to these values. So let us have lambda is equal to minus 1. Right, lambda is equal to minus one. First case, let capital X be a non zero vector such that such that a minus lambda i. x is equal to 0 right or you can write over here x is equal to because a is your 2 cross 2 matrix so this would have two components x1 and x2 you can write let capital x is equal to x1 x2 be a non zero vector such that a minus lambda i into x is equal to 0 as per the given eigenvector definition, that is ax is equal to lambda x. Right? For solving this x, I can write in the form of matrix a minus lambda into x is equal to 0. So what is your a minus lambda i matrix? Can anybody tell me what was the matrix? What was your first entry beta? Ma'am, after uh, two minus the value, lambda. So 2 minus lambda, na? yes, in terms of lambda, 2 minus lambda. So at the place of lambda, I'll be putting minus 1. Right? 2 minus lambda, and this was, I think, minus 12. 12. And minus 12. What is this entry? 1. 1. And next one? Minus 5 minus lambda. Minus 5 minus lambda. So at the place of lambda, we'll be putting minus 1. Right? The same a minus lambda I matrix into x. x is having component x1, x2. And that is equal to null matrix. So I'm putting here 0 and 0. So you will be writing here 2 plus 1, 3, minus 12, it's 1, minus 5 plus 1, minus 4, x1 x2 0 0 is it right now you can solve it this is what it is your homogeneous 
system of linear equation. Like if I ask you, simplify this 3x1 minus 12x2 is equal to 0. And x1 minus 4x2 is equal to 0. Right? Two variable, two equation. So you can simplify it. This is your system of linear equation. So how to solve it? I need coefficient matrix. So this is your coefficient matrix. 3 minus 12, 1 minus 4. We need to find out rank of coefficient matrix. So you will be making this entry as a 0. So you will be writing R2 implies R2 minus 1 by 3 times of R1. Right? So after this, you will be getting A as 3 minus 12 and it is 0 and then minus 4 plus 12 by 3, it is again 0. Right now? So this rank of coefficient matrix or you can denote it with A dash because A is your given matrix. So you can see that A dash hardly matter. Rank of this A dash is equal to 1. That is less than number of variable 2. So number of variable minus rank. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 independent solution. So from here, from first row, you can write 3x1 minus 12x2 is equal to 0. Right? Or x1 is equal to 4 x2. So let x2 is equal to k. Then x1 would be equal to 4k. Right? So your eigenvector would be, I'm taking k outside. What is x1? This is your eigenvector. You need to find out value of x1 and x2. So this would be 4 and this would be 1. Where k can have any value except 0. k cannot equal to 0. If k would be 0, then your eigenvector would become 0. And which wallet the definition of eigenvector? Because eigenvector cannot be equal to 0. And you have supposed that x be a non-zero vector. So this k can have any value except 0. Is it right? And for your convenience, if you want to write k is equal to 1, so you can write k is equal to 1. And then x would be 4 or 1. Either you can represent in the form of column form or you can write in row form and then take its transpose. Like in some books, it would be also written like this, 4 and 1, then it's transpose. It's hardly matter. You can write, represent it either in this form or this form. So if lambda is equal to minus 1, corresponding to this eigenvalue, eigenvector would be 4 comma 1. Is it clear, Peter? Any yes, doubt? So now do it for second eigenvalue. Hurry up. Do it for second eigenvalue. Second eigenvalue was, what was the second eigenvalue? That is minus 2. So at the place of minus 2, minus 1, just put minus 2. So let us have lambda is equal to minus 2. Again, you'll be writing x is equal to x1 
x2 be a non zero vector such that a minus lambda i so a minus lambda kitchen you can put two i x is equal to null matrix right so now tell me what will be the value of a minus lambda i matrix 2 plus 2 i think it is 4 it is minus 12 it is 1 and it was minus 5 plus 2 minus 3, minus three? Minus three, but yes, ma'am. So now simplify it. It was minus one, minus one or plus one? I think plus one. One minus twelve, two minus minus two, it took four and minus five plus two minus three, minus three it is. Two plus two four, right? I think it is correct. And then x one, x two, zero zero. Now simplify it, Harya Bata. Tell me the what will be the value of eigen vector. Simplify it. This is your a dash 4 minus 12, 1 minus 3. So R2 implies R2 minus 1 by 4 times of R1. After this, this would be 0, and this is again 0. So rank of a dash would be what? Yes, what will be the rank of A dash? One. One. So, one. Right now, this row becomes zero, so it is one, again less than two. So you will be writing from this first row, 4x1 minus 12x2 is equal to zero. So x1 is equal to 3x2. So let x2 is equal to k. So x1 would equal to 3k. So eigenvector x is equal to k1, uh, sorry, 3 and 1. Right? So k can be any value except z. Right? This is how you will find eigenvalue and corresponding eigenvector. This is for two cross two matrix. You will practice for three cross three matrix. When a given matrix would be three cross three, then your eigenvector would have x1, x2, x3, so that this product can be possible. Now, come to the next remarks regarding eigenvalues. Number one, if A is a real matrix, then its eigenvalues can be real or complex conjugate in pair. Sum of eigenvalues is equal to sum of diagonal elements. Sum of diagonal elements means trace of a matrix. Sum of eigenvalues is equal to sum of diagonal elements. See. Your eigenvalues minus one and minus two. Sum of these eigenvalues equal to minus three. Right? And trace of this matrix is two minus five. That is equal to minus of three. Getting sum of eigenvalue is equal to trace of this matrix. Trace of this matrix is sum of diagonal entries. Right? It is proved. Similarly, you can prove for any matrix. Third, 
product of eigenvalues is equal to determinant of matrix. You can verify it also. Product of eigenvalue is equal to determinant of that matrix. Point number four, eigenvalues of a matrix is equal to eigenvalues of its transpose. Matrix ho, ya uske transpose ho, eigenvalue would be C. If lambda is eigenvalue of a given matrix, then 1 by lambda is eigenvalue of A inverse matrix. If A having eigenvalues minus 1 and minus 3, then inverse of this matrix would be having minus 1 or minus 1 by 3. Right? Remark number 6. If lambda is eigenvalue of a matrix A, then K lambda is eigenvalue of K matrix for every known zero scalar K. If lambda is eigenvalue of this matrix A and you are multiplying this matrix with some scalar, it is say 4, right? So it become matrix 4A. If you are multiplying a matrix with this scalar, then eigenvalue also would be multiplied with same scalar, right? If you are having eigenvalue of given matrix is minus 1 and minus 3. So I'm asking what will be the eigenvalues of this 4a. So what you will do, you'll multiply eigenvalue with 4 and it would become corresponding minus 4 and minus 12. Right? Remark number 7, if lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 up to lambda n are eigenvalues of this given matrix A, then A power m a square, a cube, a4, and so on, has eigenvalues, same power of eigenvalues of given matrix. If matrix A is having eigenvalues, 1 comma 3, so I'll be asking for a square. So what will be the a square? Square of this, 1, and square of this would be 9. Right? Eigenvalues of diagonal and triangular matrices diagonal and triangular matrices triangular means it may be upper triangular or it may be lower triangular eigenvalues in these case are just diagonal elements of a matrix if you are having a diagonal matrix like one two three and rest of the entries zero right so eigenvalue of this matrix would be one two and three similarly when you will be having any lower triangular matrix or upper triangular matrix, 1, 2, 1, and this is 0. So what will be the eigenvalues of this? Again, diagonal entry 1, 2, 3. Right? Because you know that determinant of this, A minus lambda would be like this. Diagonal entry is only. Or ikka determinant be kya hoga? This into this into this. So eigenvalue would be 1, 2, and 3. So in case of diagonal matrix or triangular matrix, diagonal elements would be eigenvalues. Right? Point number nine, a matrix is singular if and only if it has a zero eigenvalue. If a matrix has a eigenvalue as a zero, it means your given matrix is singular. And if given matrix is singular, then you can directly say that one of the eigenvalue can be zero. Right? So these are the remarks regarding eigenvalues. So you need to remember all these remarks. What is spectrum? Set of eigenvalues of a matrix is known as spectrum. Set of eigenvalues of a matrix is known as spectrum. So if I'm asking the spectrum for the given matrix, so you need to find out eigenvalues for that matrix first. And then you can write this set of eigenvalues is known as spectrum. Now, let us have an example. Find the eigenvalues of this matrix. Yes, tell me, what will be the eigenvalues of this matrix? Two. Yes, beta? Ma'am, two. Not only two, beta. Two, two, two. Yes. Chicken, huh? This is your what? Upper triangular matrix? So, when you will be for finding the eigenvalues, you will be writing like this. So this lambda would be subtracted from the diagonal entries only. 2 minus lambda, 1, 0, 0. 2 minus lambda, 0. 
0 0 2 minus lambda and when you will be finding its determinant so you will be writing 2 minus lambda whole cube so if it is cubic so it means you will be writing there eigenvalue would be lambda is equal to 2 with the multiplicity 3 lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2 right so the roots of characteristic equation can be repeated that is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda k so you can see that eigenvalue is said to be of multiplicity k so you here you are having three roots same so this eigenvalues can have multiplicity of three now if a matrix a is 2 7 5 0 minus 1 2 0 0 4 then find the eigenvalues of 3 a Mm -hmm. Let's wait, Shubham. I'll ask someone. Chatan Preet. Chatan Preet. Hitesh. ID number 17. Hitesh, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Bolo, beta. See, this is your matrix. Ki kaisi matrix hai? It is upper triangular, lower triangular, diagonal. Kaisi matrix hai? Mm, upper triangular. Upper triangular. Hai. So I have told you one remark regarding upper triangular matrix. So can you tell me the eigenvalues of this matrix? Okay, I'll show you the remark. This eigenvalue of diagonal and triangular matrices means upper triangular as well as lower triangular are just the diagonal elements of matrix. Just diagonal elements. So now you tell me what will be the eigenvalue of this matrix A? Eh? 2 minus 1, 4. 2 minus 1, 4. You have used one remark or one property of eigenvalue. Now my question is, find the eigenvalue of 3a. 3a. Have you listened to the remark carefully? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What offer answer can you If lambda is eigenvalue of a, then k lambda is eigenvalue of ka. If you are multiplying given matrix with some number, then eigenvalues corresponding will be multiplied with that number. So now you have told me eigenvalue of this matrix is equal to 2 minus 1, 4. Now you are multiplying this matrix with 3. So corresponding eigenvalue will be multiplied with 3 minus. Yes, with 3 only. Six. six. Yes, ma'am. Minus three. Six minus three. And Twelve. 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 Got it. So eigenvalue of matrix A is two minus one four, and then eigenvalues of three A would be six minus three. Six minus three and twelve. Similarly, eigenvalue of A inverse. Anyone? 1 by 6, 1 by minus 3, and 1 by 12. Sorry, but I said, ma'am, only A inverse. A inverse, only A inverse. Na? Question A inverse. Um, 1 by 2, mm. and minus 1, mm. and 1 by 4. And 1 by 4. Okay, 1 by 2, minus 1, and 1 by 4. Correct, beta. Right, so that's all. He, these noted down. Find the eigenvalues and eigenvector for the following matrices: eight minus four two two, and then three one four zero two six zero zero five. Noted down. Noted. And 
then one more. Find the eigenvalue and eigenvector of this matrix. A is equal to 3 minus 1, 1, minus 1, 5, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 3. So that's all for today.